Hello everyone, Pally Tuff here and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're releasing 14 videos in the first week of this game's official launch. Make sure you subscribe to catch them all. And of course, if you hit that thumbs up button, that helps us out a ton if you are enjoying the content. We're still inside the Temple of Salune. We have killed all of the goblin leaders as requested by Halson, and we're about to go tell him the good news. As I was looking over this room again, I did spot a key that used to belong to Dror Razzlin. I nailed it and said that perfect. That opens a locked door back here that hopefully has something good inside. Because of the way I killed all of the goblin leaders, I wasn't able to retrieve very much of their loot, but this is looking pretty. <gasps> we do have infernal iron here. That's huge for helping out Carlax. She needs that for her very hot heart. Uh, what else do we have in here? The amulet of Salune's chosen. You can have a dream. That's very interesting. As well as the gl gloves of growling underdog. The wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls while well, surrounded by two or more foes. You do have to be careful with some of the magic items that you find in this place. For instance, some of them only work if you are marked by the absolute. I don't think any of these are like that though. When the wearer dashes or takes similar actions during combat, they gain momentum for three turns. I dash constantly. And on top of that, 500 gold. Oh, I think that was meant to show that I looted all of the crates. Well, very cool, very cool. I also did have a bit of a thought. If we did not find Will's father in here, it's possible that they were taken to another location. And we did hear about a spot that Halson thinks that they were moving other prisoners. I hope he can give us a little insight about that. Boy, we are roughed up. I'm really hoping nothing else happens. I've used all of my short rests. I don't want to go back to our camp just to then come back here and tell Halson. So let's speak with him now. Hopefully everything is under control. Speak up. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. Well, good news, buddy. Oh, tell me what you know about Moonrise Towers. Yes, tell me that first and then I'll trade you some information. Traveling to Moonrise is no small task. Expect dangers like you've never seen before. Well, everywhere I go has dangers like I've never seen before. <laughs> I'm something of an expert when it comes to imperiling myself. This is different. There's more fingers on a hand than there are survivors of that place. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Sounds like I have no choice. I'm gonna have to find a way through. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in this very temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers, through the Underdark. Long through the ago, Underdark. A man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers and may bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. So, the mountain pass was never available in early access. That is the way I want to go by default. However, we can poke around in the Underdark a little bit in Act 1 without progressing the story, and I'm absolutely going to do that. There, I believe, is a must-have item for our Dark Urge Zen that I feel like we have to get. I don't want to risk getting lost in the Underdark. Don't worry, I know my way. 
I'll journey overland. You may reconsider once you see the effects of the curse for yourself. Yeah, I might. I might. What business do you have in Moonrise? You said you'd go there if you could, right? My business there began long ago and has led to a lifetime of regret. That didn't tell me anything. I helped overthrow Kethrick Thorm and his dark justice years, years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I could join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I could have both helped you find a cure for your infection and lifted the curse. <laughs> I may live to regret this, or maybe I won't, but fine. I'll help you save the grove first. You will. Oak Father, bless you. I'll be in your debt twice over if we succeed. You know what's needed. The deaths of Draw Ragslin, the Drow Minthara, and the Priestess Gut. May nature guide you. You know I I've already killed him, you, right? But be warned. I won't be able to suppress my animal side. Yeah. Subtlety will not be an option. I already killed him! So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. Where are you gonna go? You Where? Did it. You actually <laughs> did it! The leader's dead! <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. Wow. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. I don't know if I believe him about killing not being his first choice when he literally warns you that he's going to rip them apart if he goes out there. Well, the slaughter was a pleasure. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to put out any red flags just yet, but I do need your help desperately. And you'll receive it soon enough. Return to the grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Well, there he goes. Turns into a rat and just disappears. Well, I'll go see myself out. <laughs> the guards are still out here, and they're hostile now. That's really funny. Hey, guys, I, I don't think you did your job very well at all. Well, I'll just, uh... Ooh, I was gonna close the door. Well, did I get the jump on him? We can do a sneak attack on Warrior Norg. Uh, he's dead now. And Zen is now invisible, so he will approach. We are going to recast a Strength Hex on Warrior Trinzaz who was standing next to him. Follow that up with an Eldritch Blast. That might finish him off too. I'm fighting the camera angle here on top of fighting goblins. That unfortunately does miss. Our Barbarian runs forward. Uh, let's go ahead and dash forward and just get in melee range with this guy. She's likely gonna take a few hits from the archers upstairs, but at least we're in position. I'm also going to move up with Shadowheart and just close this door, because I want to make sure that Will is protected, and that will end her turn. So our Barbarian is alone in the next room, but worry not. I think she'll be fine. This guy goes for a melee attack on her. She does not take any damage. However, Karlak was hit with a critical strike ranged attack from above. Zen is completely in stealth at the moment. So we're going to move up and sneak attack the goblin in front of Karlak and take him down. That will re-enable his stealth. Now Karlak is going to move for the ladder across from her. <laughs> Pick up this goblin. And I was hoping I could throw him across to the other side. It's really close. Doesn't look like I can. So I'm going to toss him down into the center of the room. Although it says I don't have enough movement. Okay, never mind. I'll just swing. Oh, with a... Oh, ranged attack. Disgusting. Let me do a pummel strike too. Maybe we can kill him. He's dazed at the very least and will live to see another turn. Zen is done. Will, probably not going to do too much here. I need to protect his health bar. But Shadowheart is going to open the door, move forward, and close the door. Again, she can then dash to get up to the high ground and at least stand next to uh, one of the archers here. 
we should be able to do some pretty good damage. This does feel like extra credit. Halston only wanted me to kill the leaders, but if there are more goblins around, well, I always have been an overachiever, haven't I? That's why you guys watch my videos, I think. Uh, reckless attack didn't hit. Let's roll for advantage. We got it. Can you jump clear across to the other side? I gotta say, I'd be so impressed if you could. Oh my god, Carlac's gonna do it. She moves forward and then leaps in a single bound up to the second story. Shadowheart's gonna swing. 55% chance to hit. She does for two damage. And unfortunately, I don't think she could follow up with anything else. This is worth the cost. So Zen tries to take the ladder. Will there be enough room at the top? Yes, there is. And a sneak attack will take down the remainder of the guards. Now, before I go outside, wait. I didn't even know these guys were here. Well, all right, Zen's going to approach. He's still invisible. He should be able to make his way over there. No problem. I legitimately didn't know that there were more on the second floor at all. You guys have been quiet. You haven't even acted. Was that attack an intended for me? Bruh. Okay, I'm gonna move up with a not enough movement, huh? And that sight line's gonna be hard to break. We are going to fire off a ranged attack onto the goblin in front of us. Start to approach. As we are running up, we are going to see Karlak fire off a shot of Roan, 55% chance to hit. It does not connect, but if idle. Zen can get just a little closer, oh, how disappointing. He's going to try and, I can't even push this guy, huh? Let's see if I pass the stealth check. I did not. <gasps> Hiding successful, you're kidding me. I must have been spotted by someone else because he stood back up immediately. Uh, Will's just going to stay here. I need to protect him. That's very, very important. Uh, Karlak is going to run to the ladder across from her. I was hoping that I could um, sprint for that. Can you just go down here? Can't reach the ladder. Let me move Shadowheart forward then. <laughs> hey, Shadowheart's going to cast Firebolt and it's going to miss. Oh my God, it did 12 damage. That must be the best ability in the game. Gosh, you cast that every turn. <laughs> if you're not getting the inside joke here, that thing has not connected for like three episodes in a row, except on a child that I was trying not to kill. Go figure. That'll end everybody's turn here. The one remaining goblin fires a shot at Zinn that does not connect. So he's gonna fire off a shot of his own. He's gonna try to sneak first. If it works, that should give him advantage, and it did. All right, without any further ado, well, slightly more ado, I'm gonna loot these guards. Let's head back to camp and rest. This has been a long trek through the temple, and I think our team deserves it. Oh, hey, look who's here. It's the bard we freed. Hey, bud. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy <laughs> setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank I you bet you so will. Much. Hey, be careful at night. I, I get a little stabby. And reviewing my latest findings, mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares, my dude? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know, quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Was that just a hint that I can find another tadpole in Halson's quarters? You know, I fought one of them. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. Don't you wave your hand at me. Not only have I encountered a mind flare, I squashed their skull into the dirt. That that can't be. Well, uh... Well, uh... <laughs> I don't know how much I want to tell him here. Well, I was captured by Mind Flayers before. I'm lucky to be alive. You're mad! But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Well, I have. Yeah. Malaise is one word for it, more like a psychic transference. Curious. Elithids, their 
technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... Oh, he's piecing it together. I'm not gonna say anything. Hmm. Are you familiar with the process of ceramorphosis? That is what happens when a mind flare parasite infects a living host. Um... <laughs> I love that I can just turn around and walk away. I'm listening, ceramorphosis. Sounds interesting. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flare. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. Right. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> hey. Uh, we got a chest piece from this guy. It is armor, so I can't wear it. But you, when you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, you gain temporary hit points. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, guys. I like how we all get in our pajamas together. Hell's fire. She's coming. Who? Uh. Guys, I don't have any health. Friend of yours? Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. What happens, Will? Anyone but her. Wait, who was it? Who in the nine hells are you? Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron. Ah. My pet's been unruly. And his leash needs a yank. Oh! That's not good. That's not we a good a sign. Deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. <laughs> and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. Oh, no. And you now Zariel... Me might there know where we are thing. she's a tiefling not a monster how precious the little pupsters found his bark clause g section 9 target shall be limited to the infernal the demonic the heartless and the soulless she doesn't have a heart meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart oh no so a warlock must have a pact with some being, and then that being shares their power with them in some way. The creature that they have a pact with may not even be aware of it if there's some kind of cosmic god, but clearly Mazora is very aware of the pact that she has with Will, and it seems like she possesses a ton of power over him. I cannot stress how low my entire party's health is. <laughs> if I have to fight anything, I think I am screwed. I think I am in a very bad spot. I'm going to step forward. I like Karlak a lot, so you better not lay a damned finger on her. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. What was that? Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells. Oh my God! Their essence and their torment. <gasps> Will! Whoa, oh, bro! You look fucking sick, my dude. I didn't see that coming. That's better. Is that a show what of defiance? What else have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. 
now. Let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. On me or on Karlak? And Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. He's got a red eye now, too. Crap. Man, the idea that the Blade of the Frontiers is seen as this big hero, but in reality, he, well, I'm not saying he isn't a hero, but the source of his power comes from a demon that he has a pact with. That is really cool. Uh, I'm going to talk to Karlak first and maybe, no, 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 no I'm going to talk to Will down. first. He's the one with the new demon horns. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pacts tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. Oh, really? So that wasn't even... There are more severe punishments. <laughs> I guess she could have been killed. I mean, half truths and devil packs. You're not worth the soil you stand on. That sounds horrible. Uh, the Blaine of the Frontiers has some explaining to do. I do agree with that. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. So you're able to respec everyone in your party in town. I wonder what would happen if you took his warlock levels away. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Maybe I'm wrong. What were the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. What? It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. It was worth it. Wait, that's the, you don't want to elaborate anymore on that? I guess he has really positively influenced a lot of lives while being um, conscripted with that pact. I don't know if that's the right word. Being bound to the pact. Maybe that's it, that was his take on it. Karlak, are you okay? I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Well, you're part of our family now, Karlak. He's a good man. Maybe the best of us. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Hey. I want to talk to you some more. Feeling illicit? Not quite yet. You and Mazora seem to know each other. Can you elaborate any more on that? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? It seems like it. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. She burned a little hotter there when she got mad. I can see why you were so keen on escaping. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. All right, it's time to come clean. Uh, if we're going to, you know, become friends, I feel like you need to know I'm drawn to violence. I'm drawn to blood. Obsessions that could become compulsions. I've killed before. I'll kill again, probably. I just want you to be prepared for that. Well, look, you've said it. 
right out loud. That takes guts. The guts you'll need to change. Or at least make sure you're channeled in the right direction. I've got enough enemies who could do with a good bloodletting, you know? I agree with that. For sure. Let's say we do catch up with that demon again. What's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> well, uh, I'll leave you to it for now. Thank you for your insight. I am going to finally put my head on one of these pillows. And I hope that it stays there for the entire night. Please stay there for the entire night. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. You can dream as much as you want. Hey! Hi, I did what you asked. I used my powers. I promised I'd be back. It's good to see you. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. Definitely seems like it. You haven't been using the parasite. What? Power. You think you don't need it. Oh, that's right! But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. And what do you think? Okay, first of all, I did use the power of the tadpole. I consumed another one and I became stronger. Another unfortunate side effect of pushing the other two leaders of the goblins down the pit is I couldn't consume their tadpoles, but I don't feel like it's fair to say I haven't been using it. What should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. Why hasn't you anyone told me that yet? Knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole magic? Do I just go to Moonrise, where all of these prisoners have been taken? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. So I have to go these that way. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute, and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. I the see. highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. That's terrifying. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So my mind tells me to do foul things. You're in my dreams. You have to be in my mind. Are you sure your protection is working? I protect you from becoming a mind flayer. I cannot protect you from yourself. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike, you and I. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. Is that why you're in my I've dreams? I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. I have so many more questions! What's going on? The power I use to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. 
The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Wow, dude. The plot thickens. I wonder if she can visit my dreams because we're connected with the tadpole, or if there was something else that connected our consciousness together. Oh! I walked out the front door. I thought I was going back inside. That sucks. I was going to do this all stealthy. Well, sometimes in life, you just have to roll with the punches. That's okay. Can I sneak attack? I sure can. Oh, missing the guard in front of me. That's unfortunate. We are going to go with a flurry of blows, though, to at least rough him up a little bit. With that, Zen is going to move in the direction behind this guy. At least... If he turns around, he's only going to be looking at me. That will end this turn. Now, most of these guys should be very easy to take down with the amount of firepower that our team has. But we still receive a shot for seven damage from one of the goblins further inside. The ogre turns around, faces it, and smashes him to the ground with a deafening blow. Zen already at half health from that single hit. That is terrifying as more goblins begin to run in. It also looks like we may be fighting a bugbear soon. We are going to see our cleric run to the back and use the help action to get Zen up. And uh, was that a bonus? So I'm going to use a level one healing word on him. And then I'm afraid that he's going to hit me with a big AOE. Like, I don't know if that's what that club does, but it's a possibility, so I'm going to try to position to avoid that. We see a goblin firing off an arrow at will. That does not collect. Uh, connect, excuse me. We are going to frenzy. With that frenzy, we're now going to pick up Tracker Klaga. Actually, I can't do that. We're going to start with a swing, I suppose. A melee attack on him. 75% chance to hit. We did not hit. So let's roll with advantage. Both dice not adding up to a hit there. Man, look at Will in the turn order now. He has those massive horns. I suppose we'll put him to good use. Let me click on him. Is that an attack of opportunity? It is not. So Will is going to back up, use one of his spell slots to put a strength hex onto our enemies. And fire off an Eldritch Blast. That'll send him flying. That took care of the job. Good job, Will. Proud of you. Proud of you. With the rest of aye, aye. our Barbarian's movement, we're just going to run straight ahead to draw some attention. And that will conclude my first round of combat. We see another goblin dashing closer towards us. Again, it was my plan to kill all of these goblins and make the road safe either way. I do wish I approached this in stealth a bit more, but I think we'll be fine. He already threw something, so we don't have to be worried about an attack there. Zen is up, and we're going to go for a sneak attack on the ogre. It does connect for 14 damage, but he has a lot of health remaining. For the rest of his turn, I am once again going to do a flurry of blows just to keep pumping in that damage. I really like how much damage Zen is doing. That feels really, really good. A stray arrow flies towards Will, but does not connect, and the goblin that fired it now moved to the high ground. The ogre going for a big swing again, dazing Zen. He only has 10 HP remaining. As a bless gets cast from the back, the goblins continue to run in. Oh! might be a lot of damage. She'll be okay. Carlax got a lot of health. I was hoping it was her turn. It's not there just yet. Um, I am going to carefully, very carefully, move around this ogre, stand next to Zen, and give him a level two heal. With my bonus action, I'm going to give him a level one heal. And that will end my turn. We see a goblin approaching from the side. Three damage done. We are already raging. We can frenzied strike. You know what I think would be even better though? Do I have cleave as one of my actions? <gasps> I do. Oh, can I hit three? It kind of looks like it. I'm gonna try. 
<laughs> Two is pretty good. I like that. And we'll do a frenzied strike as well. I suppose it doesn't matter who I do it on. We should just try to take someone out of the turn order. Very good, very good, very good. Will is going to look to his left and fire off an Eldritch Blast at the tracker on the high ground. 55% chance to hit. It does for 13 damage, taking them out of the fight. Uh, I could potentially use our action surge. You know what, I'm gonna do it because we're probably gonna short rest after this. Action surge. Is this a bonus action to, oh, okay. So I, I can still reapply my hex. I didn't think it would work. Let me do strength. I'm gonna put that on Brawler Rot. Down on the low ground. And then Eldritch Blast him into next week. Was that? Oh, he has one HP remaining. We gave it a valiant effort though. And that will conclude my turn. Another goblin running in from the far side. This is by where we bit that guy's toe off. I remember that very fondly. I'm dazed. Truth be told, I don't know what that means. So I have disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. I can't take reactions and I lose the dexterity bonus of my armor class. That means, oh, okay. That is kind of scary. I can't sneak attack because we have an ally nearby. 70% chance to land. Critical miss. Oh boy. I will do a disengage. Ha. Oh, I know how this works in Divinity. I don't know how it works in Baldur's Gate. I'm gonna find out really fast. I'm gonna move through this door. Am I still in combat or am I in another area? I'm in another area. If we go back, the combat should still be playing out based on the turn order. The, has, he gone already? I believe he has. I don't know what he did with this turn. I'm gonna have Shadowheart move to the... That should not have been an attack of opportunity. I'm pretty mad about that. We're gonna have Shadowheart move to the other side of this guy and then just get a swing off. The idea being if he turns around, that sets up Zen to be able to sneak back in and deal damage. To go along with that, I am gonna need to move Will forward to avoid some of that. I can only cleave once per short rest. Okay. We are going to pick up one of these goblins and throw them at the one. I think either one will be a kill. I'll try to kill the one further away. That's okay. Attack of opportunity on our barbarian is no problem. Here's the throw. Hey, there we go. That's a double kill. Now with the rest of my action, I'm going to do a reckless attack. And let's go ahead and send that in on the big... He's a bugbear, right? I called him a bugbear earlier. Reckless attack did not connect, so that will conclude her turn. But of course, Will is still here and still helping. Uh, I think he must have lost his concentration. I'm gonna have to manually recast Hex. Not a big deal, let's go ahead and use it. I'm putting it on the Ogre, he's the biggest threat. Let me go ahead and blast him. 70% chance to hit. We hit him pretty well. Now, here's the beauty, if this works. Can I see his sight lines? Man, it's close. Steps at a time. I was hoping that maybe Zen could sneak in right there. I'm still gonna try. So we're gonna do the, we're gonna hide and move on the right side of the door. I don't know if that'll change where I come out on the other side. I'll probably just enter from the middle. My hiding was, oh, I didn't expect to be here. My hiding was successful and I'm not in combat yet. So I need to hurry and there we go, the ogre's down, and I am back in the turn order. Just a little cheese, just a little cheese. And now we'll let the enemy turn play out. The goblin once again rushing forward, trying to get up to our cleric shadow heart. Says, oi, come back! Looking for Zen, and she can't find him anywhere. Detect presence was used, I have been seen. Although it says saved and I've been seen. That's very confusing. It's a very confusing way of saying that. Uh, we're gonna attack that brawler that was looking for me. That sneak connect connects for 28 damage. Goodness gracious. I'm then going to walk up behind where Karlak is fighting, hoping I can sneak in some damage there too. And that'll end this turn. 
Oh, a healing touch being used. Don't go too far. That'll give me attack of opportunity. That's dangerous. Um, I'm going to walk up. We could cast bless here. I don't, I don't think we need it. I think we're doing just fine. I'm going to do a level two healing word on Karlak just to make sure. Man, it sucks when you upcast that spell and it still heals less than it would as a fucking level one spell. That does feel really crummy. Uh, I can get a hit in on the devout, but unfortunately it does miss. Now Will is going to move his hex from one target to another. Uh, we're gonna put it on the probably biggest threat in this, that tall guy right there. Eldritch Blast goes off, 60% chance to hit. It connects for 10 damage and knocks them slightly away. Now on Karlak's turn, I think I wanna throw these guys again. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just go for a swing here. I'm going to hit the devout. Reckless attack to try to roll again. And it does not connect. So let me try a frenzied strike. There we go. That's what we were trying to do. And I believe that will end my turns. Only a couple opponents left. This shouldn't be that bad. He sees me even though I'm invisible. Nicely done. Can I still attack this guy? I don't have advantage. Let's try a, a piercing strike. Never use this. I believe that's probably from our weapon type. So we hit him for eight damage, that's not too bad. I can then use an on-arm strike because I attacked and hit him for another six. And that will conclude that turn. Three damage being done to Karlak from the enemy behind her. We are going to see Shadowheart move forward with another swing that does not connect. Will is going to fire off another Eldritch Blast, 60% chance to hit and the target is dead. He's then going to move his hex over with the remainder of his action and put it on the brawler just behind Karlak. Speaking of Karlak, it's her turn. And she's swinging. First one goes out. Cutting the goblin in two. Go ahead and make sure we take a short rest to recover a little bit. Now there's one more thing we need to do. We're going to go back to the Druid Grove and meet up with Halson. I just wanted to loot everything first. There's a lot of stuff out here. And again, I wanted to go about that stealthy, but that's the way it played out and we could take it. It's still problem. Hide armor plus two. Wow. Oh, it even gives better initiative rolls. We're gonna give this to Will. That's awesome. Hey, it looks like everyone's getting ready to go. That's a good sign. Zevlo. Delts virtue, the blade of frontiers. What's happened, Will? Well, do I paid the price yeah. of angering the wrong devil. Believe me, I understand better than most. A moment passes as Sevlor contemplates Will's words. He then turns his attentions to you. A scout just reported, the goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. Yep. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. Let's not forget you promised to pay me. From all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Well, thank you, my dude. Thank you. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Korger. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. <laughs> oh, no. No, I don't know if you... Oh, yeah, I'll see you there later, bud. See ya. Oh, God. I hope I don't kill anybody. <laughs> We're uh, officially making the vendor in town go broke. He's buying so many of our weapons. <laughs> May you keep balance. Yeah, you too. Now, let's not forget, the main reason we wanted to help those tieflings was because if they can get out of here, 
with the roads being safe from goblins, then they can reach Baldur's Gate. And in the future, we can have Carlax Infernal Heart inspected again at that guy's real workshop. That was the real motivator there. I did what I had to. A pity you don't see that. I thought I had been a good teacher to you. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Do it. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay. But consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids. Our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. Wow. You know... I would love to see... What he would do if we uncovered a little more about her. I'm very curious. You're going to have your hands full with her. She shows great spirit, to put it mildly. I say that in the most sarcastic tone possible. She shows great insolence. But time will humble her. And the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Wrath, huh? Uh, what about my problem? I need help. We already said that. So what happens next? The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Well, they do want us to rest, don't they? And if I can get Halson in my party, I want to do it. But that seems excessive when I just took a nap. I don't suppose there's any way I could just slip this thing into my pocket, could I? I don't need any attention right now. I got something to hide. What if I, um... <laughs> what if I send Karlak over to distract this guy? He's literally just standing or just staring at the idol. I really want it. I really want the I idol. I know you stopped the goblins, but okay. I can't stop. Does she it. actually turn around while they're speaking? No, you can't divinity cheese it. Although this area right here is not always being watched. I just want to steal this. That's all I want. That's all I want. Can I pick it up? Oh, don't go too far. Oh, yeah, we got to get more creative than that, I guess. Hey, Wrath, I heard you got something for You've me. Done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. You're very welcome. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. You know, you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Think nothing of it. I'm glad Halston is safe. No, I'm just here for the reward, bud. Thank you. Of course. It is well earned. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Wait, there's... You... Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. No way! What did he just give me? Oh, my inventory is disgusting. Uh, we can sort by latest. He just gave us the rune of the wolf. I believe I just put it on this pedestal in the next room. Add on the rune of the wolf. Combine. That, uh... Oh, I have to click on it now? All the other runes are here. So I think all of these will light up pretty easy. Well, what have we here? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
I was a little miffed, but this is a pretty cool way of getting a reward. I was like, bro, don't make me go somewhere. That seems ridiculous. Is this all a vault? <gasps> and he said, I can just help myself to it. There's a blue spear here named Sorrow. Let's take a look at that. What does that do? One to 10 weapon damage. Uh, sorrowful Lash. It looks like Thorn Whip pulls a creature 10 feet closer to you. Can be used once per turn. That is awesome. Well, I'm going to loot the rest of this place too. Don't mind me. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. We're releasing 14 videos in the first week and we have a little bit more to go. We are not done with this. Hey, some more wyvern toxin, nice. W while we technically can leave the act right now, I'm not going to. And where I'm going next is one of my favorite places that I've ever found in this game. I hope to see you guys next time.